Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make farm fresh butter straight from the farm, straight from the cow. We're going to start with raw milk and that'll be the next scene. I'll go through all the steps and the processes and then our next video is going to be about how to make ghee with the butter. We do not pasteurize it or anything, just so you know, and we also do not add any salt in this video, but I will tell you how to and where to add salt in the process. Okay, enjoy! So here we have about five gallons of fresh milk that we let set for a couple days. We do this to allow all the cream to rise to the top, which you can see as I'm ladling out. I'm being careful to try to only get the cream and not much of the white buttermilk that you see underneath. It's okay if you get a little bit, but you don't want a whole lot. You just want to try to scrape off that top layer of cream to make the butter, which is in that other container. Now I'm taking the extra buttermilk that was left underneath, blending it and storing it for later use in our soaps. We have to freeze them first. So there they are. What else you can do with buttermilk is you can make wonderful pancakes and biscuits as well. <laughs> okay, so here's the cream that's left over and I'm putting it in the blender. Now, some people just use an old-fashioned butter churner. Uh, it's a lot faster with a blender and so that's what we're doing. That's what I'm showing you. And I just have to blend it on low for I'd say a minute or two. And then you see how it was really thick and now it's being really liquidy. That's because it has separated. So that's how you know when to stop blending. And now as we pour it out, we're going to have two different substances. One is butter and the other is buttermilk. Now in order to separate the buttermilk from your butter, run cold or warm, not hot, but warm, lukewarm water over it. And then you take a sturdy spoon or spatula and you just press the butter together and to pour off, drain off that excess liquid. Um, you want to mix up the butter as much as you can in that liquid in order to get all of the liquid buttermilk, butter fat um, to separate. Now, if you add too cold of water, it's going to be really hard to mix and separate the liquid and the butter because the butter will be so hard. So sometimes you want to add warmer water in order to soften up the butter, and you're just going to have to find that happy medium with your butter that you have. Each butter is individually different um, depending on the season, depending on the cow, depending on what the cow was fed. So you really just have to go with the flow. Sometimes the butter will be darker, sometimes lighter. Sometimes you won't get as much butter from a gallon of farm fresh milk. You just have to accept with what you got and work with it. Now you can see that the liquid is getting clearer and clearer the more I mix it, and I'm just getting that extra buttermilk out, and then all we have left is that nice, thick, creamy butter. And now would be the perfect time to add salt to it. Just mix it in. I just put my butter into any clean, pre-used container. We got this from a takeout restaurant while we were traveling once, but I would definitely freeze your butter after you make it because it does go bad very quickly. If you're going to be using it within a short amount of time, then go ahead and put it in your fridge and you can even leave it uncovered and it will suck the moisture out of it. I hope that helps. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks guys. Tune in later for our ghee making video as well. Bye-bye.